episode, we're going to have a look at her seeds.rb file, and I think that this is an often and overlooked area of our application because we're adding in data as we go through the development life cycle, so it's never really that big of an issue. However, one thing I do like about having a seeds file is that it's especially helpful if you do move between one computer to another and you need to get another one set up quickly, if you have other developers that will be working on this application, or even if you have a demo site stood up where you want to refresh its data periodically. So it can be very helpful to have a maintainable and fairly robust seeds file. And so we're going to look at building that in this episode, and one easy way to run the seeds is you can just run Rails DB seed. However, that is going to have the inherent issue if you've already seeded the database before. So you can do a DB setup, which the DB setup will essentially drop your database if you're on your development environment, and then it'll reload the migrations from the schema.rb, so you want to make sure that that is kept up to date, which if you don't go in and edit it manually, which you never should, then it'll be up to date automatically through the Rails migrations. So if we go ahead and run this DB setup, you'll see that it has a nice little look and feel to it, where we have a progress bar for each different area that we are creating, and then we get a summary at the end, where we get the total number of users that were created or that's in the database, the total number of posts, the total number of comments, and it's just overall nice to have that kind of graphical interface to your seeds.rb. So not only will we be looking at creating this, but we'll also look at making it more maintainable so you don't have one huge file where everything is getting lumped in together. And one gem that I love using for seeding in my data is the Faker gem. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. So be sure to check that out and use the promo code RUBY for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.